Now, from Qatar to California, where Meghan Markle has lashed out at the stereotypes and judgments women face in the world of activism. In her latest episode of Archetypes, the Duchess of Sussex discussed feelings dismissed... discussed feeling dismissed with actress and influencer Jamila Jamil after greeting her guest in a peculiar British accent. You all right, babe? Hello, um, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Go bloody. It's only, it's only Megan. She revealed a very influential female friend had begged her not to give up on her activism after joining the royal family. I started to notice this almost um, default eye roll when someone would mention a woman fighting for a cause and almost, oh, here she goes again. Or maybe it was more of stand for something. Why can't she just sit down and, you know, the rest. It reminded me of a message that was shared with me just a few days before my wedding by a very, very influential and inspiring woman who, for her own privacy, I won't share who it was with you, but she said to me, I know that your life is changing, but please don't give up your activism. Don't give up because it means so much to women and girls. <laughs> I'm sh Cute eye roll. I'm pretty sure Pankhurst and Parks are wondering what the heck went wrong in the world of campaigning. Uh, uh, by the way, I think the woman she's talking about is the Queen. That's my own guess. No, it's Nicola no. Thorpe. You think it's Nicola <laughs> Thorpe? <laughs> There's, I, I, her podcast seems to carry a... You know, I don't give a... Who cares about a podcast, but, you know, you either like it or you don't like it. That's fine. But... Everything viewed through the prism or the conduit of sort of identity mostly being female. You know, have you noticed how women are criticised for the way they hold a cup? It's like, <laughs> no! No one ever noticed no. that. Well, no you, one ever you noticed that. You wouldn't you're not a woman. But I've never criticised anybody about... I'll pick that cup up, Nicola. I'll do it wrong. No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I... <laughs> I, I, I just find that it is. it has an underpinning, a curious sort of underpinning to always belch out some kind of imagined... That's the remit of the podcast. ...imagined injustice the whole point of always it. Ian, I've said this to you before, it's like complaining to talk sport that they talk about football too much. It's the whole point of it. Imagine me well, pulling up... it's a up... bit of it. It's not the whole point of it, <laughs> Yes, it is. It? It's I mean... about archetypes. It's about things that, that women are labelled with unnecessarily and really investigating why that is and, and it gives a platform for women like myself I, I really enjoy the podcast um because there's so many parts of it that i can identify with and go oh god yeah well, I remember. what's the thing about women in campaigning i mean who, women activists so what i is that? well i was and still am a women's rights activist i campaigned in 2016 to change the law on uh, discrimination law in the workplace so that women could wear flat shoes to work because at the time it I remember was, this. Yeah, it was necessary yeah, you were for on women. College Green, weren't you? Yes, I was indeed. And yeah. at the time, I was called by Sarah Vine uh, a vacuous. Um, Edwina Curry said, "Well, perhaps if she spent more time working on her acting rather than, uh, then she wouldn't have to be a receptionist and have to wear high heels." Like there was a lot of older women and men, but particularly older women actually that hurt the most, who would say, "Oh." It's another woman looking for attention. It's a, and this is all part of progress because I'm sorry, the women that you roll your eyes at today will be the women you look back on in but 10, could 20 that have years. Just been time. that it was a, a bit not your best campaign, frankly, the shoot. <laughs> I mean, it, it might have just been that, might it, Daisy? <laughs> Don't look at me yeah. for help. You're getting did nothing I, did from I change, me on this Did I change one. anything, Marion? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. But just going back, sorry, I was just going to say, going back to Megan, I, I, just, I can't listen to it, I have to say. I just, I, it yeah. just feels like meaningless drivel to me. But also, it, there's, there's an element of self-justification for me. It's about her trying to... I don't know, assume some sort of higher purpose. But that's just that's my take on yeah. it. But, but, I mean, that's exactly what she is trying to assume, a, yeah. high, a higher purpose, and I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, I don't always approve of Megan. She has annoyed me intensely in, in the past, but I understand <laughs> where she's coming from. I get it. And, I mean, some of the bits, the, the first clip that we played out, I find her podcast is it sounds to me very scripted and quite uns unspontaneous, yeah, and I wish it was... I, I wish she'd rip up the script, because I think well, there are occasions where she goes off script and she sounds much more genuine and authentic, which, yeah. of course, is the whole point about a podcast. You're meant to be talking from the heart. But the substance of what she was talking, particularly to Jamila Jamil, 
who is a very controversial activist and has been heavily criticised, you know, on both sides of the pond, talking about how that criticism was very, very sexist was really interesting to me. But, you know, my other half was listening to, <laughs> as, as you were, and was cussing and puffing <laughs> and puffing about it because everything she said annoyed him. So, so she does divide on so yeah, gen does. gender, both, well, both, both of them, both do, them yeah. on, ge I on gender lines. I like feel if um, this was somebody else instead of Meghan Markle doing it, if it was, say, Kate doing it, then people wouldn't be on her back about it. But yeah. everything, every, the, the, the discourse we're having now proves what she just said in this podcast is completely correct. No, for some Russell, reason, Br like, Russell just find her really Russell annoying. Brand gets Why does she want to have a higher purple? Like, no, but it's OK, isn't it? What she's doing, actually, is a good thing. And we should be saying, OK, I don't want to listen to it, but actually, I appreciate you doing this for women and some women. But, but, this is, this and great. JJ, your example of Kate Middleton, you know, uh, of mm. uh, you know, uh, Catherine, is a really, really valid one because one of the reasons Catherine is so popular amongst certain demographics, and I'm going to say older people and yeah. men, is because she says absolutely nothing. nothing. Yeah. She's a good little girl who keeps quiet and doesn't tell, doesn't complain, mm. doesn't you know, doesn't yeah. do anything, doesn't rock the boat, and is a very traditional, old-fashioned, mute woman. Take note, Nicola. There it is. <laughs> <laughs>